What's up drivers, what's up riders? Today, I felt a little cabin fever and said, you know what, I need to get out the house. I said, let's get out and go try just to make a couple extra dollars. I would love to get close to my 100 to $200 goal to see if I actually reached it. You guys gotta watch the video. But if nothing else, I thought it'd be cool just to ride around, pick up a couple of orders and make a couple extra dollars along the way. And if you are new and that sounds like a good time, why don't you go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button. Go ahead and do it now, because this video is about to start. What's up drivers, what's up riders? Yes, the caveman is back. I am actually about to go do uh, an Uber order right now. It looks like it's a Chick-fil-A. Let me get out of the house first, robot. <laughs> Let me get out of the house first, my God. So I'm gonna go do the Chick-fil-A order. You guys probably saw that I was just doing, doing some user testing to start my day off. I actually made $10. The other $20 was from a few days ago. Uh, so I'm up $30 in the user testing account, which isn't bad, like I say, guys. It's really easy to do. Start your day, turn it on user testing, try to knock out a few surveys to see if you qualify. If not, do it and night me like that's $30 for the week. So um, let's see what else we can make today. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog, but we'll see. I feel like a freaking janitor with <laughs> all these freaking keys. I just need one set of keys. So I need to find me a car. Hey, doggy. I don't know why. I'm still surprised by how hot <laughs> it gets in this car. We still have the Kia Soul. Let's go. Kia Soul engaged. AC, please. Ugh. There we go. Wish it had like ice mode. So as soon as you turn it on, it just throws ice cubes at you. I wasn't actually going to work today. I was going to take today off. Uh, tomorrow I have a chiropractor's visit. I go three times for three weeks. Uh, things are looking a lot better. I was very sore uh, as the days went on and now I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better. So I was just going to just take today off and then just go tomorrow since I'm just going to be out and about anyway. But I was like, you know what? At least for a couple hours, let's get out and try to make some money. Um, when I'm out, I'm probably just going to stay out because that's the way I am. But um, that was weird. So I'm probably just going to stay out and we'll see how long. I'm planning to maybe do it till 5. Right now it is 12.39. But if I'm feeling good and the money's coming in, I'll probably just work a full 8 to 9 hours and um, we'll see what we do. Well, that's interesting. We've got the Kia Clone Soul Turbo Zord in front of us. We're multiplying. So here's something funny, uh, and I'm glad I figured this out before I came over here. In a new car, you know, you try to figure out where everything is, how to turn your windshield wipers on, things like that. For the longest time, I could not figure out how to activate my hazard lights. I'm flipping all these knobs down here and trying to figure it out. And I actually have to go on YouTube to, turn, to figure out how to turn on your hazard lights on a Kia Soul. And um, let me show you guys. It was like a little button I would press right here. I'm over here like twisting all these knobs and it just wasn't it. It's right here. You press this little button, and voila, hazard lights or flashes, because I need them to bring the food out. <laughs> Otherwise, this was not going to be a successful delivery. Yeah, so I was a big dodo bird on that one. I mean, it's clearly marked, like, big red hazard symbol, and I just completely overlooked it. Uh, I don't know what I want to do today. Do I want to do, this is a single pickup, thank you, Jesus. Uh, if I want to do Instacart today, if I want to do Uber Eats more, I haven't done a full, like, Uber Eats, I guess, like, restaurant day. Uh, I'm not even going to say I'm going to do that, and then we go all the way out into, um, uh, what do you call it, um, What's that fool's name? Instacart. We might go do Instacart. Uh, do Instacart app. Here's another thing too. So Corner Shop, remember them? Uh, sent me a message the other day and said, don't forget to update your bag supply because you know they give you bags to actually put the food in for the customers because they want to bring uh, it themselves. Uh oh, incoming. Uh, this is gonna be for Aurora. Aurora. Got you. Just bring this bag, man. Perfect. Thank you much. Uh, sorry turn the AC down just a little bit. So uh, the, the Chick-fil-A man came and gave me uh, Aurora uh, food. Hey, pop quiz, what movie was Aurora in? You guys should know this because it actually just got remade a few times. It has a very, very famous actress in it right now. And um, we'll see if you guys get it. Comment below. Anyway, Corner Shop sent me a message saying don't forget to like keep your bags up today because they give you bags to like give to the customer, put the customer's food in to give to the customers when you drop it off because I said they're trying to brand themselves. So I was like, I didn't even know you guys were a go down here. I thought you were going through like some kind of lawsuit and I haven't taken one order. They're like, no, if you got bags and a card, you're good to go. So I'm not promising anything, but I actually just might turn on Corner Shop today and see if we can pick up an order. 
we'll see. Let's go ahead and get this order done. I might just do Uber Eats all day today. I don't know. But let's do it because you guys want to see it. Start delivery. It's taking me back home. I'm actually going to go drive right back to my apartment complex. They're in my apartment complex. How funny is that? Oh, snap. Please do not knock on my door. My dogs will go crazy. I'm housing Cujo in here. Trust me, I will not knock on your door. How many times is Uber going to send this to me? That's not the customer, by the way. There's a glitch in the Uber app that keeps doing that. It will continue to do that until you tap on it and reply to the customer. I'm really trying to think now, how many deliveries have I done to my own apartment complex? I want to say four. I think I've delivered to my own place four, four times, which is very, uh, it's very funny because it makes me want to just turn the car off and just go to go back home <laughs> so uh that's it guys i did my delivery for today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next short ride kidding but maybe not really <laughs>
Yes. I did. I do have one in here already, but uh, this by far my favorite. Ah, Downy. Just washed it too. All right, Instacart doesn't have anything in there for me to grab while I'm in between apps, so. Oh, Costco, two deliveries. Where are you going? Hmm. Oh, that's not the Costco by me. Never mind. So we're going in here for Benjamin. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. was a kind of in and out burger just kidding kind of thing um there was no line praise be to god let's go ahead and get this to benjamin as fast as humanly possible bump uh oh there's there there's something connectivity wise about this area where i come to chipotle i think i touched on it before like it just doesn't have a strong signal although i'm on lte with all the bars going across so we're just gonna like back up a little bit and watch it work last time that happened like i completely almost lost an order the whole app froze and shut down on me so we're gonna park over here by this trash bag in the middle of the road and see if i can have better luck at uh finishing out this order steel oh there is a double how did i not see that how did i not scroll up enough to see that so that wasn't the app at all that was just me being stupid i don't know why i didn't scroll all the way down uh i thought i was only doing one order so i ran back off in there and got it so now we got benjamin and kevin let's go start delivery eight minutes benjamin's first let me send these messages let them know i'm on my way again thank god i found those hazard lights because i have to park in that alleyway to uh, run in there and get the uh, food it's uh, right on the side of the building so um I don't know why I just didn't pay attention to that big red marker that's clearly in my face. That's the sign of a hazard. Ew. What are we doing? I thought this would be a good place to park. Oh, this is not a parking spot? Never mind. <laughs> just kidding. People are so weird. I was also going to talk about this before I realized I had two orders to pick up. Um, have you ever tried to cross the street and the car is coming so fast? You know, you stop. You're like, okay, but clearly they're going to... Uh, turn me into a speed bump and there's no need for me to risk my life trying to get to my car right now and then they like slow down and like look at you like are you not gonna go i'm like yeah can i go are you gonna let me go or are you just testing me so as soon as i step out you just boom, 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 whoopsie. run me smooth over I, I don't know i don't know either slow down because this isn't a racetrack or give me some indication that you would let me go i'm like not nah, that you you go you know, clearly you got a cake in the oven that's gonna burn your house down so you go get it I already had my car ran over. I don't I don't need to be ran over. Not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. I'm trying to work. The destination is on your left. Arrived. Just dropped off that order, sending a message to the other gentleman, uh, heading to you now. But I'm getting ready to head to them because they said, meet you. So they don't want their food left at the door, I guess. Fine by me. That's cool. Let's go. You're right. Double orders rarely go off smoothly, at least for me. Back in my earlier days of doing uh, Uber Eats when I first started this channel, every time I saw a double order, I nearly wanted to shoot myself between the eyes because something was always gonna happen. And with this customer, not that it's a big deal, but uh, he put in his notes, meet me at the door, because you know some people actually don't want their food on the ground. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And um, and I sent a text message to him from start to finish. This is a double order, dropping off order number one, and I'll see you soon. Dropped off order number one, I'm heading to you. Literally, the guy was like three blocks over from where this other person was, so they were very close. It wasn't even that far to drive. And I get to the door, ring the doorbell, dogs go crazy, so he knows somebody should be at the door unless your dogs just start barking for no apparent reason. I knock on the door, still nothing. So I'm like, you know what? 
we're in the whole contactless delivery era. I'm just gonna leave it on your door, you know? And I messaged him, I said, hey, did you want your food handed off per your notes or did you want, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it. Yeah, it's delivered. Um, or did you want a handoff? Or did, did you, or did you want me to drop it off at the door? Still nothing. So I went ahead and um, just marked it as delivered and took a picture of it. Moving on, that's the best I can do. Funny thing is, one of the watchers of my videos wrote me, and I'm actually thinking about doing this, I think it'd be kind of funny. Can you make a video on how we can be better customers? And I thought that was a very interesting video. So I actually might make that. That would probably be one of the things I would put in that video. If you order food and your notes is, I want you to hand it off to me. Be ready to have it handed off to you. Where are you, sir? Where are you? And another reason why I didn't drive off with it, uh, like you can do, you don't have to drop it off there if, you're, if the note says otherwise. And back in the day before we had contactless delivery, that's kind of what we would do. You would, you could dispose of the food or you could leave it on the doorstep and hope that they find it before the rats do. And the ship deactivation video, I actually seem to be referencing that video quite a lot. Someone wrote me on that video and they were like, what is this? You go to the customer's house only to ring the doorbell once and then drive away before the countdown finishes and then get on camera and eat their food. I'm like, Chick Rita, you miss so much in that video. First of all, that was me at that person's door for 15 minutes. And just like with this person, I text them from start to finish. Not only am I sending this person alerts, the app also sends you alerts like, hey, such and such has picked up your food. Such and such is on the road to give you your order, you know? Like there's messages going all over the place. So if anybody haven't seen that video, I'll just sum it up for you. I get to the door, I hear like this loud surround sound system, like they're watching some movie. So like, okay, let me ring the doorbell because I'm sure you probably didn't hear any of my text messages. Ring the doorbell. I'm standing there for another good five to ten as I'm ringing the doorbell, knocking on the door, texting him and calling him. No one is picking up. And in that time, I heard like vacuum cleaners start. Like they were doing a lot in that house. So I'm like, okay. And if you call a customer, Uber is going to say, were you able to reach a customer? And I said, no. It starts a timer for at least seven, sometimes even ten minutes. So I go back to my car in front of the person's house waiting and they still didn't come out. So as the timer was getting down to five seconds, I start my car up and drive up the street, which was a block up so I can turn around and leave because it was a dead end in the road. All of this you don't see in the video because I'm editing and the video was already 50 minutes so unless you wanted to sit there for two weeks and watch every step of the way, I thought most people would get what was going on. So uh, yeah, and then they were like, you got on the camera, ate the food. Like most people, especially back then, wouldn't even give the customer that long to come to the door. Like. Time is money for us. We don't have time to sit there and wait. If you don't want the food, don't order it, pretty much. So I know that kind of went into like a crazy rant, but um, it just reminded me of that comment where the person thought I literally took an order only to drive to the customer's house to not give them their food to then go on camera and eat it in front of everybody. Like, where do they do that at? Where do they do that at? How many people know what this place is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the good thing is I'm not actually going in there to do a shop, at least not right yet. Not right yet. <laughs> is, that, is that how we say it? Not yet. Actually, wow, just something just popped up. I can go in there and do 11 items for $12 if I really wanted to. I just pulled over here so I can actually um get a gist of what's going on. Uber hasn't sent me anything. I actually have Grubhub open now, too. So I could run there and go do that order. Uh, it's 11 items, $12. They're six miles away kind of taking me back down where I was originally by Brody. It's actually not too bad. What do they want? Hey, we'll see if something else comes through. Um, all right, so I sat here for another two minutes or so and nothing's happened. I'm going to go ahead and take this order. I mean, I'm in the freaking parking lot of the store. What sense does it make to drive somewhere else and go get something? I mean, this is pretty standard order. 11 items, and they're not too far from the store. It's like most of the stuff they want is in the deli anyway. Um, and not deli where I have to like go get a pound of cheese or whatever. It looks like it's the pre-made stuff. So hopefully it's all in stock for this person and they want some crackers and some carrots. Yeah, this should be pretty simple. <sighs> I thought that last order was pretty simple the last time I stepped into the um... Instacart zone. Yeah. So I'm not even taking my camera in there to film. I'm just gonna get in and get out. Wish me luck. Back in the car, very simple order. Just a few things we substituted. I didn't even have to, it's just something I offered to her. Um, Cause in her list, she had it just refunded, but I saw a few things that I thought was comparable. So I sent it to her and she was like, yeah, hook me up. And I was like, okay, I got you. Um, another thing too, I do that, uh, you know, when I can, because you want to try to keep the order close to the original amount. Otherwise you might have a tip adjustment um, if they did it based on a percentage of the order. So 
you know, just trying to keep as much of my money as I can. Let's see, slides to start delivery. She's in the house, perfect. No stairs to break my knees. And she's 11 minutes away. We're moving. Also two people, if you're multi-apping, and like I say, even I still make mistakes and I've been doing this for God knows how long. Um, turn off the other app. I was in there and Uber finally sent me something. I'm like, well, I can't do it now, Uber. Like, where were you five minutes ago? Also, too, I've noticed myself, I'm not moving as fast as I normally do. I'm kind of trying to take it easy. Uh, the tension in my foot, it's not... Let's talk, I gotta put this. It's there. Like, I feel it and it's, it's, it's a real thing. But I think it's just me trying to psych myself out and to be like, oh, just not there. Just, just keep walking. Just keep walking. And it's kind of like giving me a limp. Uh, not like a Big Daddy Kane uh, pimp limp. It's giving me like you need to get some orthopedic shoes kind of limp. Speaking of which, we're about to pass the area where this happened again. Here we go. The one day I didn't vlog and had my camera facing outward, I probably could have captured all this on tape. Yeah, right here. Every time I come around this area, my anxiety just, I can see it all. And this is where it happened. Bam. Right here. Right in front of this place. This whole area. <sighs> Sweet Mary Jesus. So again, I don't know when this video is going to come out. I mean, everything could possibly be settled by then. Um, but they're still investigating, you know. And I wrote my attorney the other day. I was like, I think this is this is not kind of a clear-cut black and white thing. Someone who had the right-of-way got in an accident. Um, let's write some checks. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, you know, if they were interviewing the other person and asking, well, did you ask the person, like, did you see that black Jeep? coming down who had the right of way i think either way it go would be kind of a bad situation for them because like oh yeah i saw it okay then why did you turn in front of them let's write some checks or no i didn't see it okay so you weren't paying attention to the road so let's write some checks like i don't see what taking so long but hey i'm not legal i know they said each person which is the law firms or the insurance have their ability to do their own investigation to see how much of fault the each person is in or each person is claiming or, you know, subjected to. I get it. So I'm just letting them do their thing. I'm out here doing my thing. Uh, they said I could, you know, go back to work. They actually recommend it unless you're pulled off for medical reasons. Like if they're, if the, um, I don't know, the doctor or the hospital said, no, you need to stay at home. Then I, I would go sit it down. But even still, I'm just taking it light because I said I'm, I'm feeling that, that pressure on thy foot. All right, so I just uh, dropped that order off and picked up another order. It's a delivery only. It's nine miles away from the store, and I'll give you guys some time to guess which store it is. Here are your choices. My friend and yours, it's a Costco. So while I drive over to Costco, Costco is like 10 minutes away from this customer's place where I just dropped off. Um, I get this question quite often, and I'm sure anybody who's actually a ride, a ride share delivery driver, whether you have a channel or not, people are probably asking you, like, is it worth doing? And that's a really hard question to answer. Is it worth doing to me right now in this point in my life? Yeah, it is, and I have been doing it, and I think I actually just hit a year doing it this month. Like, this month, I think I was my, the first day I turned on Uber. I did my first order. Uh, it was at a food truck. I was hella nervous. And uh, I was driving this way and the food truck was that way. I was like, I'm not passing it up. And I bust this crazy Vin Diesel Yui and got over there. And the first delivery I did was at a hotel. So I like drove up and asked the valet like, hey, can I park my car here? I'm doing Uber. He's like, oh yeah, man. And I go up to like, I don't even know what floor it was and hand this lady her food uh, and her daughter and get back in the elevator. I was like, that was crazy. I just made $5. Like it was just, it was a, it was an experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, after the experience and the adrenaline run down, you gotta start thinking, okay, like I need to start planning better with, you know, selecting orders that aren't so far away. Um, trying to pick a zone that actually is busy. You know, a lot of us want to try to stay close to home, but sometimes you might have to jump a zone or two to actually get, you know, paid. I mean, if you think about it in the sense of, it, it's weird how you have to kind of reprogram you program your brain. I, me, I wanted to stay close to home. So when my shift was over, I could just, you know, drive home a lot faster. But if you think about it in the W-2 world, a lot of us, or a lot of you guys, because I don't do that anymore, now I'm saying anything, I'm just slaying the facts. I don't work W-2 anymore, obviously. You guys have watched me for the gigs. But you know, like for, the, for you guys who still do your W-2s, you don't live around the block from your business. A lot of you don't, you know what I'm saying? 
A lot of you got to drive 15, maybe 20, sometimes even an hour just to get to where you're going to be working. So in that sense, if they have hotter zones that are 20 to 30 minutes away from you, sometimes it might make sense to go up there than trying to stay close to your familiar zone and then just get scrapped orders and kind of waste the day, you know? So I've had to do that a few times and it's actually worked out to my benefit. But what brought me to this whole rant and talking to you guys this way is I drive over here to my friendly Costco. Um, you know, some people ask me, is it worth doing? And like I said, I, it's, it's hard to say, it, yeah, it's worth doing, you should go do it. Not knowing what your market is, not knowing what app you're working, and not knowing what your, what your hustle is. That's kind of the big thing. What is your hustle? Because I mean, some people write to me like, oh, I'm making 200 plus dollars in one app. I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's not impossible. Yeah, you could. You definitely could. Uh, just understand that sometimes I could just do Uber and make my 200. I could do Instacart and make my 200, but I like to switch it up. I like to get out of the car. I like to sit in the car. You know, I got options. And as well as you do, if you do gig work, you got options. There's a ton of apps out there that you can jump into. So for me to tell you it's worth it, you got to outweigh why you're considering it. Are you tired of what you're doing? Then if yes, try something new. You have no obligation to do this. You know what I'm saying? You can try it out for two weeks. And if it's not for you, then hang it up. Go get a... Not now, Zordon. Go get a W-2. And be back to what you what, what you know and love. But if it's something that you think might help you, even if you just get, even if you just do it a couple of days just to get a couple extra dollars to pay like your light bill, electricity bill, whatever, then it might be. Um, and like I say too, if uh, gas, mileage on your car is a big factor for you, then it might not be something to do because that's all you're gonna be thinking about. Oh my God, I gotta fill up my car again. Oh my God, I'm putting so many miles on my car. Then you aren't really enjoying the experience. You're more worrying about everything else. So if those are things that's gonna be weighing heavily on your mind, I don't think it's for you. I don't think it's for you. A lot of us, as I said, I think, I feel like I'm repeating myself from that video. We've kind of outweighed those things and we've come to peace with those things and we're just doing what we want to do. And for some of us, we're just doing what we have to do. A lot of people who are doing this now don't want to do this. They want to be back in their cubicle. They want to be back in a nine to five, but stuff shut down. Like people used to work at the mall, there ain't nobody walking in the mall right now to sell a lot of clothes to, so they have to figure out how to make money the best way they can. So to you people, and I, hate, I keep saying that again, to you watchers, you questionnaires who wonder if this is worth it, that's something you really have to go ask yourself. You gotta get out there and try it. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth it in the sense that you can make a couple extra dollars to put towards your bills, maybe put up towards saving for a vacation that we all hope one day we can take. Yeah, it could be. Um, but if you're thinking about quitting your job and doing it full time, and you're a person who is big on like gas, or you don't have a fuel efficient car, or you're worried about wear and tear, then maybe it's not for you. I mean, I can say living proof, I had probably the worst fuel efficient car ever. I had a Jeep Commander. They stopped making those in 2010 along with the Hummers because, you know, I think around that time, like, gas prices were, like, astronomical. It was just crazy. So the cars weren't really desirable, and that's why they stopped making them. So I had a pretty, you know, gas-guzzling car, and as we saw in many of my videos, it started to develop a lot of mechanical things. I mean, Jeeps, I think, are kind of notorious for that the older they get. So, you know, just outweigh it. I have a lot of people that write me and say, hey, man, I have a, I have a truck, I'm doing it. I have a... Escalade, I'm doing like you. If you want to do it, I think that's I think that's the best answer. If you want to do it, you'll find a way to do it. You'll find a way to make it work. So there you go. That's it and that's all. I mean, because that's some pretty serious life advice. I don't want to be the person who's like, oh yeah, quit your job, leave your family, go do the app life, you'll be fine, and then you just it's not fine. <laughs> At least I always say two weeks of anything, you should know whether it's gonna work for you or if you're even gonna like it. Just because it works for a lot of other people don't mean um, don't mean it's gonna work for you. And also too, uh, like I say, making it work for you, a lot of people are probably gonna tell you you're crazy. You know, I'm like, you left that job to go do this or you're doing that, like, what's making you happy? You know what I'm saying? If you were happy picking up freaking aluminum cans on the side of the road, cashing a couple of bucks a week, are you happy? Cool, continue doing that to be happy. Don't let someone else's um, fears, that's kind of what it is, because either they'll never want to do it because they're scared to do it, or maybe they just have enough money they don't have to do it. But don't let someone else's fears, that's kind of what I feel like it is. They're like, well, I don't think I could ever do it because I don't know if I have 
they don't if they don't have the drive to hustle because it's a lot it's a lot like this not everybody's meant to be the next michael jackson you know there's a people who are going to be pushers there's going to be some people that are going to be game changers and there's going to be some people who are just going to be what i call worker bees they're happy just doing whatever they're doing and there's nothing wrong with either position you just got to find out what position you're meant for and what makes you happy you know because i mean i've been managers i've been store managers i've been all that and i can do it i just don't like doing it i like being the person show up to work do my work oh there's a kia soul right there god dang i should flip this camera around. and it's a black one the black ones are the most elusive ones um geez i gotta got i gotta got that one on camera anyway i'm the kind of person i just want to show up to work do my job and go home i'm not here to uh do anything else but that yeah you guys know i'm looking for my favorite spot there is a rav there's another rav right there in that awesome new green color i don't know uh what color it is ah we finally got a black kia soul we finally got one there's another one Some things are everywhere and as i was coming out of sprouts there was another one parked over there too i didn't say anything didn't want anybody to think i was lying but we finally got one parked right next to it so i'm gonna go off in here and do um what is this oh it's only one customer too Ooh, I thought it was a double. So blood oranges are already a really good fruit, but when you put it with lemonade, I picked this up at Sprouts. Man, this blood orange and lemonade. That's some really good stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, step one, get past the Costco security guys. Step two, Find the order. Universe trying to tell me something. The lady who uh, checks your receiving leave out of Costco, she's all drive safe. I'm like, um, I'll try. <laughs> you know something I don't know? I wonder what they were talking about while I was gone. Hmm. Yeah, she said that with such um, conviction. <laughs> like, um, I heard about you. That another Kia? No, okay. Now I'm just trying to make make cars into Kias. No, she's like, I heard about you out there being just reckless on the road. Yeah, that was just really weird. She's like, drive safe. And like, there was like some authority behind it. Like, I don't know. Just very weird. The way the day's going, I'm not sure uh, how much money I'm going to make today. But it's just like some of those days where you just need to get out of the house. Like, I was just like, I can stay in the house, draw, paint, and edit smart videos. But I think I'm just going to go ride today. At least until 5. And see what happens and if nothing else that's gonna be a couple of extra more dollars to add to my week you know what i mean so sometimes you just gotta get out and see what happens this is one long twisty turny way to get up to an apartment complex feels like we're going into wayne manor god let's see Hopefully the gate's open, because I don't think they put a code on this. Uh -huh. Never mind, the gate is open. Hallelujah. Or he's just fixing it. I think that's it. So, just got that customer's order dropped off. I was sitting here eating my food as I was talking about that blood orange uh, lemonade, which was really, really good. I want to find another one of those. Which is another reason why I took this grocery order here. This was an Instacart order. It's uh, 12 items and it's uh, $12, so a dollar per item. And I think the customer was five miles away. About to find out here. Plus, I need to get something to drink. I just had a, um, a seafood salad and I had to eat that like right away because that's not something you want getting hot and going bad in your car. Otherwise, your stomach will be in knots eating some bad seafood. You might end up dead. <laughs> We've in the complex and guess what we found? I've never seen one in that color before. They're everywhere. Oh, you're so lucky to have that robot. Back in my day, we had to push carts by hand. <laughs> no joke. And up a hill like that too. <sighs> yeah, there is no joke on that. I used to work 
that HEB, not this one, but one of them. And um, one of my first jobs was the lot crew. And we used to have to go around the entire lot and pick up carts. And um, we didn't have that robot. We had to do it by hand. <laughs> in phenomenal shape, especially in Texas degree heat when it can get up to 125. In one year it did. And I was working. <laughs> Good times. So let's go up in here and get this order. Uh, 12 items. $12. It only led to a different kind of speculation. Police said publicly that because none of the witnesses were willing to testify, they had been forced to let their suspect go. The destination is on your left. Arrived. That's dropped off and we're back on the road. You want to talk about some beautiful homes. These homes are magnificent. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we actually have an offer in here from... There you go, Grubhub. Let's see, this is Don's Barbecue. Uh, it's $8, where is it taking me? All right, it's actually in the general vicinity. We are doing a Grubhub. Hmm, so I'm not just another side piece for the other apps. No, my friend, it actually looks like we're gonna use the Grubhub bag for some Grubhub orders. I mean, as long as you send me some. <laughs> there are Instacart orders in there. I had Uber running at the same time. Uber hasn't sent me anything. So I went with Grubhub. Grubhub actually sent me something. As I tell you guys all the time, I like to keep moving. So uh, that's where I feel the multi-apps come in play. But as I've said before, if the app you're in is working and it's sending you orders and you don't have a lot of downtime, or if you don't mind downtime, stay in that app. You don't have to multi-app. But me, I don't like waiting. So um, I'm trying to make as much money as I can, what is it, 444? Um, I don't care how many apps I gotta use. <laughs> I'm just gonna make my money. But much like dirt swept under a rug, his monstrous tendencies didn't disappear. Behavioral disorder known as obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. OCD is thought to be genetic and can begin in childhood, but the average age of the illness's onset is 19. In Joseph's case, Ooh, we are busy over here. My goodness. I think we're gonna find a parking spot. All right, gonna head in here. And remember to say I'm here for a Grubhub order and not Uber Eats. I'm so used to doing Uber Eats. But let's go ahead and say I arrived and they're gonna get a fried fish, catfish, fried catfish plate, three meat combo. I always get that when I come here. And then the large peach cobbler. I'm more of a banana pudding person myself. Let's get it. Hey, doing a grub club pickup for Jim? Oh, thank you so much. Can you see the light tonight? Happy now? But how many angles can I actually get in this Kia? <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna be. So let's see, uh, we got the food. So let's do, get you guys some screen footage because I hardly ever shoot anything when it comes to Grubhub. So we're gonna say, got the order. And we're now leaving Don's Barbecue. And next thing is gonna be arriving at this person's place. Looks like they're at an apartment complex. Let's go ahead and navigate. This cool little button right there. 12 minutes away. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Look at that view. All right, guys, we're in a new parking lot. I wonder if we're gonna find any Kia Souls in here. I'm sure there's gotta be at least one. What do I see here? <laughs> I think we found a Kia Soul. Green Ranger Edition. <laughs> Honestly, could we be any more patriotic? <laughs> I like those Jeeps though. I am thinking about one of those. Or was thinking about one of those. I'm over here too busy trying to photograph the Kia past the building that actually was the building I need to turn into. So it was actually trying to guide me into the right area. I just wasn't paying attention. You Kia Soul brothers, y'all something else. Y'all looking out for each other. All right, let's go take this Grubhub up to this customer. So that's what it feels like to be used for the right app. 
We've done grub hubs on here before. <laughs> this is just, that's not the first one. And speaking of things that we've done before, we were looking at burpee. I haven't talked about them in a hot minute. But these are the orders that are sitting in burpee right now. Nothing I can really do, as you guys can see, 20 miles away. That payout's good if I was actually in that area. It wouldn't seem so drastic. And then this one here, I mean, look at that. That's 20 items. That's not bad. It's almost it's kind of like a dollar per item on that one too. Uh, this one's a little bit closer to me, but it's going above the river, which is where I'm trying to stay away from. So at this point, I'm just going to have to uh, hit a little, uh, come on, really? <laughs> a little rejection on that and move on to the next thing. If I'm not mistaken, that red car up there, I think that's another Kia Soul. It's moving though. Is it? Or is that something else? Okay, now that we stopped, we can. I think we got another Kia Soul. Is that a Kia Soul? That red makes it look weird. Nah, it's one. Yeah, it's a Kia Soul. Next, what do you guys see over there? Hmm. Yep, another Soul. I mean, Kia Soul, not like a spirit <laughs> floating around. Yeah, it's another green one. Definitely not trying to track those because that'd be weird. Okay. <sighs> Double order from Firehouse Subs. Let's see how this turns out. Please, Faith, be with me. Yeah, for uh, Joseph and a Derek. Okay. Finally got both of those orders. They were just that much closer away from me canceling one of them because uh, one was already ready and they was working on the other one, but they pulled it together really quickly. So just like in the old days, I still fold these bags down. Just don't want any contact, especially now. Uh, just try to protect the food as best we can. The destination is on your left. Arrived. apartment complex let's see if there's any souls around here and this time let me not pass up the customer's building <laughs> 24 <laughs> like you just can't not see one in a quarter mile drop off on the left we do know we're already in this complex right See, that's what I'm talking about. Meet you at the door, and actually meet you at the door. <laughs> Delivered. Let's see what else we get into. I don't know what old boy was burning in that house, but it was amazing. It immediately just calmed me down. I should ask him, what is that mystical scent you have in there, sir? So we're on Uber East still, waiting for them to send me a trip. I think I'm gonna pop open Grubhub just to have all the defenses ready to go. Instacart, it's about seven, it will actually it's 6.15. Around that time, the orders aren't really that good. Um, I don't mind doing micro orders, but uh, these really aren't even around me, so it doesn't matter if I wanted to do them or not. Yeah, nothing in Instacart. So I think we're just gonna be doing um, the restaurant apps until I go home. I want to stay out here about seven. So just a few more minutes, nothing crazy. Wasn't planning on really going that hard anyway. I just wanted to come pick up a little extra dollars, talk to you guys, hang out, you know, shoot the, oh, there's a roadie sitting in here. We never did turn on corner shop, did we? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, corner shop, what can we do with you? I know earlier today we talked about Chipotle having a long line, but this Panda Express normally has it wrapped around the block. So I'm interested to see just uh, how busy it is. Now, they do have a pickup window for us where we can like walk up and get it so we don't have to be trapped in those lines, but um, it normally is pretty outrageous. Every time I mention long lines at Panda Express, they only have like four people here. Let me come here during lunchtime for myself. Forget about it. Uh, yeah, I actually got two orders. Um, Jade and Caroline. I think we got a blue Kia Soul outside the window. I 
I don't know if I caught that or not. I just put the camera on my shoulder as I was turning, but uh, there was the blue Kia Soul sitting in the sunlight. Jade? Here you go. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You too. So I will say that is one thing I like the grocery apps over the restaurant apps. You don't get sneak attacked. With the right with the grocery apps, you know you're going to be going to the same grocery stores. You you'll pretty much uh know them by heart after a while. Yep. Another soul. We are back in the apartment, people. Thanks so much for spending your day with me. You didn't have to. Um, as I said, today I kind of took it a little light, even though I was pretty much out there for a full eight hours. Normally in a full eight hour day, I, depend on how it is and what day. I mean, it was a Tuesday. For most people, the general consensus, general consensus is that Tuesdays are pretty slow. And I don't think it was so much that it was slow, it's just that I wasn't really focused on like, you know, grinding it out. But I think for what I did, I did pretty well. I just hope I broke 100 because doing about eight to nine hours and not even breaking 100, now that's pretty sad. But um, let's get into it and um, we'll find out here soon enough. Let's do it. Quite honestly, I have no idea uh, what all this added up to. So let's start off with Instacart because we know we were doing um, mostly Instacart today and we know we touched on Uber Eats and we also touched on uh, Grubby Hub. So Instacart, we went in there. I did do one more order before I came home. I actually finished my day at eight. I actually stayed out to eight and not seven like I was planning on. So Instacart, we made uh, $68 and, thir and, 30 and three cents. Just show you the guys the breakdown here. Very small orders, very, very small orders. 16, 18, 12, 23. If these orders were more in the $20 range, that probably would have been, there probably would have been a better payout. But these were all small items. Like I went in there for like 10, eight, 15 items like it wasn't anything big i much prefer that just to get in and out when i can especially on days when i just want to take it easy like today anyway moving on let's go to grubhub because we know we did one of those i actually really like grubhub uh i just need to put myself on a schedule which i'll probably never do so whatever grubhub gives me when they give me i'll be satisfied and take it let's see we're gonna go to grubhub's earnings and down here at the bottom you guys can see i can cash out at eight dollars and fifteen cents give you a better view of that yeah, Grubhub's cool. I like it. Um, Grubhub the Grouch, uh, not so cool. He's always got an attitude. <laughs> we're going to go next over here to Uber Eats, which is another app that I worked mostly. And Uber brought me in at $44.39. I think, let me go check this out here. Bum, bum, bum. I want to send some thank yous to the people who gave me a tip. I'm sure that dude who didn't answer the door and I left his food outside was probably upset for whatever reason. Not my fault, dude. Like, pay freaking attention. All the other people, yeah, exactly. This $4 one here, I think that was the person who didn't um, come to the door when he said, I'll meet you at the door. All the other people who said they were going to meet me at the door, they met me at the door. So be on your order. So let me go here to this 20. Those, all the other two, they were two um, double batches. So there is something to do double batches, even though sometimes they can be a pain. Uh, that one came out to be, so that one had a $12 tip included. The fare just by itself was $6, and I got tipped $12. So that's... That's boss. <laughs> and then we're going to go over here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. This was another double order. The fare on this one was 6 and they tipped me 10 I'll take it. Came out to be $16, so I'm just going to send them some thank yous. So that is it, guys, as far as the apps we worked today. Oh, and let's not, let us not forget, we did do user testing. The last order took me back to uh, Sprouts, which is where I went and picked me up another one of those blood orange lemonades. I've been thinking about them all day, so that's probably gonna be like my new favorite drink. I might go in and do some more user testing before the night falls because I had at least eight that I could do on the phone, like strictly from the phone, and I, who knows how many I have on the computer because they keep on sending them to me, which I don't mind. It's just, you know, you gotta get qualified for them. So if I do anything else besides what you guys saw on here, this, is where my day ended. You guys let me know if I got any closer to uh, 100 or 150. I know I didn't break 200, but um, let me know how I did. All right, so I'm gonna dip out because I have to get up pretty early in the morning to go to the chiropractor. I don't wanna miss that appointment. And I might actually do some um, writing tomorrow. I don't know if I do. Uh, let's just say this, this is what I made that day if I went out. Cause I don't, I don't think I'm gonna actually vlog. If I do, 
this will be edited out. This will just be a zero. <laughs> if I do vlog, you actually, you guys will see the vlog. But in case you guys are wondering, the next day I went out, that's what I made. So again, as I said in the beginning, if you are new to this channel, I do hope you consider hitting the subscribe button and then also ding the notification bell so when I make new videos, you guys can join us and watch them as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about this video and, and what you guys made on your outing today doing any kind of apps. Oh, and before I forget, this was the total number of Kia Souls we counted today. I actually saw a couple of more, but like I said, if I didn't catch them on camera, they didn't count, but there's a lot. There's a lot of them out there. Drivers, you've been awesome. I'm heading out and I'll catch you on the next ride. Peace.